What's up, trans youth? So if you remember, last week's topic was on coming out and talking about intimate issues in our support groups, not answering the regular questions, but rather getting into the ones that are really awkward to ask. This involves sexual orientations and relationships and things like that. So I started to think and started to wonder. I started looking at a lot of YouTube's um, questions on trans youth asked previously, and it occurred to me that we haven't really done that. The week prior was talking a lot about how much trans youth means to a lot of people, and I started to think, well, we do kind of act in that way. We do get asked questions, and they're not always really sensitive, but we're asked a lot of the same questions that I have heard asked in my local support group. So this week, and I really hope this isn't against YouTube's requirements or limitations, is about masturbation. I want to say right here, this is an educational purpose and it's meant for the opinions of everyone watching in a purely educational circumstance. I'm hoping that YouTube's not going to flag us for anything and I'm hoping that the trans youth vloggers are going to be a little bit more professional about it, although I don't want them to censor their opinions. But the actual question is how you feel about masturbation, whether it's okay or not, and whether you think that that's going to change post-op or eventually, or if you're used to it, and um, how that kind of affects your sex life. For me, this is incredibly sensitive because honestly, I don't masturbate. I just don't, and that's very unusual and very abnormal. Before transition, before hormones and everything, I still had this male compulsion, this male bodily compulsion to take care of myself. And because of that, I did so every two weeks, if that, and I'm getting red talking about this on the internet, aren't I? So I didn't masturbate as often as the average boy did. And I found that this actually differs from a lot of other trans girls. I kind of repressed my entire sexual exploration and sexual growth. Shortly before hormones, um, I started to think about this and I started to think about surgery and how it, was, how it was going to affect me. And I didn't want my genitalia to atrophy because of surgery. So I started trying to get myself to do it more often, but it didn't work. I just didn't do it. That doesn't mean I didn't think it was okay or anything. I just kind of felt like it wasn't necessary and I kind of did hate it. It kept me from sleeping and it's kept me from being clean when I go to bed, honestly. I had to clean up all the time and I hated that absolutely hated that and it's probably one of the worst things I had about being a guy. Now I will say I did have a dysphoria about the parts but it wasn't as bad when I wasn't on hormones because I hadn't gotten a body that I wanted just yet. So I spent a lot of time after hormones thinking about how things were going to change. And I will say that after hormones I have only managed to climax twice and they were both with a partner. They were not with masturbation. Masturbation is no longer a part of my life. It's really not. And I will say I have noticed a certain atrophy of my genitalia, which is very important for people to know and recognize because the more it atrophies, the less people, uh, the less many surgeons can do about it especially people who use shaft inversion for SRS, which basically means that they turn inside out, because that shortens the length of your canal post-op. I am having a lot of trouble with that, and I am also honestly having a lot of trouble with my own sex life, primarily because of my own dysphoria and my own discontentedness with it. But I have noticed that my sexual life is kind of returning and actually developing. I am a lot more sexual now as a girl than I ever was as a boy. I went through my high school being asexual and now I'm pansexual and in love with my partner and feel like I want to invest myself into my relationship physically. So do I think that it's going to change post-op? Absolutely. 
I think that it's going to change post-op because it's going to feel right. And one of the most important things I want in my surgery is that it looks right and it's deep enough and I'm able to pleasure my partner. Unfortunately, a large portion of that is being compromised because my inability to masturbate is there. <laughs> I honestly do think that a lot of my sexual issues will disappear post-op because a lot of my issues with sex are in that area and it should, it should, if the surgeon is correct, be able to give me the ability to climax again, which I'm not going to lie is kind of something I'm looking forward to. <sighs> So that's my opinion, and I really, really want to say to YouTube, I apologize, but this is very educational, and it should not be flagged. If anyone is to flag it, I am terribly sorry that we offended you, but it is something that we need to talk about. It's something that's very sensitive, and it's something that I feel affects every transgender person. Because sexual issues do pop up when you're talking about your gender. They're just kind of connected, and especially intimate relationships get affected by going through this transition. I do trust everyone on this channel to do the same, so I am going to put this portion of the video as a disclaimer for the following videos. Please, please, please be professional and educational about it. We don't want YouTube getting mad at us because we are doing a question such as this. To our viewers, we still have a position open. Please send your applications to transyouthchannel at gmail.com. If you'll remember, Kipling dropped, dropped out, so it is a Friday position open. I believe it's a Friday. I'm not really too sure. Don't quote me on that. We are also looking for wildcards. Please send your applications in to transyouthchannel at gmail.com, and I will be picking them next week. We will have one wildcard chosen, at least. Hopefully an actual trans youth viewer. So get those in, please. Thanks. Bye, guys.